a designer who specializes in permaculture has a design for a logo and this is the image file and is in the process of developing a CAD version of that logo using GCAD Plus. I want to illustrate that we've got the tools in GCAD Plus to deal with most of the issues you see here. If you look at the design on the left, the green leaf in here um, sits on top of the ridge line. So if we want to change that, we can select the leaf and go to Tools and Draw Order. Bring to the front would work or we'll bring above an object. If we say bring to the front, that leaf is now in the appropriate position. If we zoom in a little more, you may be able to see that um, the P's in the applied, I think, go on top of the lettering for permaculture. So we can do the same there. Select that, tools and draw order and bring it to the front. The other thing I would suggest is worth doing is just putting a slight slope on things. This piece of text here um, has a an obliquing angle of 10 degrees. That gives it the slight italic look that you see here. This one, sorry, the permaculture design has a width factor of 10, but no obliquing angle. But this one here has a width factor of 1.1 and a height of 8 and an obliquing angle of 15. So you've got the ability to play with the text to do fine changes. But I would suggest when you're working like this, change the background to white and then look at things again. And I think I, think I would now move that text under. So if I pick that text now, tools, draw order, and move under the permaculture design text. I think that looks a little better. So now we can delete that and we have a logo. I try and make the logos about 100 units long. That's 117, so I'm relatively happy with that. But what I would do is move the base point, move the drawing, move the design to 0, 0. So move and that bottom point there. That'll be the anchor point when we bring this in and move that to 0, 0 and then finally zoom extends and then we'll save that in the folder appropriate. Now that I just noticed then the blue line there and I'll move that slightly to the left to avoid that clash and zoom now. So I'm relatively happy now that we've managed to copy the design that was done using an image editor and we now have a CAD version of this logo. Its file size should be relatively small. Let's type FS and it's 4K inside. So that's not going, no matter how often we use that in drawings, that's not going to overwhelm any of the designs that we develop in future.